Welcome to Venusian Soul Tarot. Today I'm back with a timeless pick a card reading and it's going to be hidden blessings coming your way. So I want you to cast your gaze over the cards and ask your higher self which cards have a message for you. We have pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. If you need to pause the video to meditate further, please do so. But for those of you who are ready, let's get started. Hi hey group one, so the hidden blessings I feel coming your way, the first thing I heard was it's the end of darkness. Now I'm not saying you'll never experience a difficulty again, but I feel for some of you it's like you've closed out some sort of cycle or chapter or like a dark night of the soul with death and the devil. And there's a cycle closing out because I feel like you're coming into the sun. You're coming into this time of abundance, fertility, growth, um, new ideas, visions. Yeah, there's a really big cycle that's closed out, I feel, for this group. And I feel like it had to do with healing, personal growth, transformation. So there could have been mm, a sense of, I, I just heard stagnation as well. The other blessing coming in is I feel like there's going to be people in this significant people and blessed connections in this new phase, in this new cycle. Because I also heard for some of you the end of isolation, especially with the hermit here. So I'm getting that sense that there's going to be the right people that come to meet you on this path, on this journey. So for those of you who, because I'm almost reading this energy as the past and this as the future. But I, I, I'm getting the sense as well, like for many of you, it's... I just heard a lightening of your path and your journey. Like I just feel within your body, within your mind, you're going to feel like the inspiration's going to come back. There's a level of joy. Yeah, for some of you, I just keep hearing you've closed out a huge cycle. And I feel for some of you, this was a cycle that may have been ongoing or there may have been quite a lot of difficulties you had to overcome. And you have here, again, manifestation, prosperity, fortune, pure intentions, empowerment, grounded, strength, stamina. I'm also hearing the blessing coming towards you is you're going to be able to ground your manifestations. You're going to be able to have success with them. If you found in the past when you pursue your passions or when you'd set intentions, they weren't coming into physical form or manifestation. I think it had to do with the energy you were in, the the place of consciousness. There were things that needed healing or things you needed to work through. And that's what's shifting as well. Like I feel it, it's almost like the things you desire start seeking you. I feel like in this new cycle, I'm not saying you won't have to take action, but things are going to feel more effortless. I'm hearing in the past, you may have felt as though you were like stuck in mud. It was hard to clear it was hard to get a clear um, idea of what you wanted or it's hard to take action. And when I think of smoky quartz, I think of cleansing, cleansing energies. For some of you, this is like a, a dark night of the soul, a rebirth, kind of like Phoenix energy, really intense transformation. But you come out the other side, it's like you're going to feel as though you're born again is what I'm hearing. Like, um, there's an, there's a new level of light within your soul, within your essence. It's almost like an activation of your light body or you're embodying more of the light because you've cleared out so much darkness within so many fears, limitations, past wounds. And that's, what's creating these blessings and enabling the new to come in. So I feel for this group, you're going to be feeling really positive. You're going to be feeling really blessed. Um, happiness as well. Like I'm hearing there's just going to be this overflowing and abundance of joy, especially if in the past, like you felt, I don't know, that things couldn't gain traction or it was just like really, um, I'm hearing just dark times. Like it could have felt like you were going through it or it was like, they're showing me like one cycle after another. So for some of you, I don't think this was just one healing or karmic cycle. I feel like you've just been put through the ringer but on intentionally so that you could reach and attain this level of consciousness because spirit's saying like wonderful job and with the four of wands you're coming that's what i'm saying like this healing process for some of you it had to be alone so you could build yourself so you could focus on yourself so you could find the light within your own being 
But now that you have discovered that and you've come into your essence and your power um, with this four of wands, it's like now for some of you can come into um, union. But this isn't just, these aren't like trivial connections. I feel like it's soulmate energy or soul family. This is like a community that really aligns with you, that has similar goals, intentions. But again, I'm getting a lot of abundance is going to be attracted to you and drawn to you because of your new energy field, because you're embodying such a different energy now. It's like, I just feel like it's like blessings upon blessings. Like there's so much energy that's drawn towards you. And then you also have for your Oracle Imagine yeah, and I feel like this is what I'm saying. Your ability to visualize, to draw things forth is what has been enhanced. It's like you have the capacity as creator and you're really honing that. But with regeneration over the sun, this is what I was trying to say. It's like you've gone through, you know, a period of darkness or uncertainty, fear. And now it's like you're stepping into that light. I keep hearing for this group born again, like there's been such a fundamental transformation in your concept of self in even I'm hearing like what you feel you deserve has been enhanced. There's a new sense of, you know, being able to attract what you need <clears throat> because I'm, they're making me feel like some of what's coming in for you, you have manifested. Yes. Or it's naturally like your soul is drawing it forth is calling out for it. But some of it, I just feel like everything is just drawn to you. Like they show me like a magnet when you're able to magnetize the right people, the opportunities. I think people are going to be coming towards you, offering you help, whether this is in terms of career or friendship. It's like support. It's like the floodgates are open because you cleared some sort or significant blocks and lower vibrational, denser energies within yourself. It's like they could come in for you, especially with invite help to invite the divine to pursue you. Seriously, just say, I'm finally ready. God pursue me. But this is what I was saying at the beginning of the reading where I feel like people and situations are now pursuing you. The things that you would once seek out or sought and desired, it's like now it's like now they're pursuing you. Now, you know, they're trying to go after you or um come into alignment with you. And again, I'm not saying don't take any action if you feel guided or prompted, but there's a sense of the tables turning. If in the past you felt like you had to really mm, force things or uh, they keep showing you someone stuck in thick, dark mud where you just can't gain traction. It's like very dense, very heavy. And look above the hermit divine abundance, the abundance and you have prosperity abundance. The abundance coming in for you is a blessing for all the work you've done, for all the healing. You were born to align with love's will, follow the tower and serve something beyond the ego. Learn to be abundance, not chase it. This is what I'm saying. You've mastered the divine feminine energy how or empress energy where you're able to magnetize opportunities, people, situations. It's like at some point, you may have almost decided to give up or take a step back and not kind of keep pursuing or chasing things or not being in that energy of seeking. You went within, but what's funny is now all those things that you were once seeking are seeking you, are coming towards you. Your job is to remain in alignment and take action as prompted, as guided. And look at this. I can't pronounce that well, but Anunnaki light codes, energetic shift, new information, end of a cycle above the night of wands. You've closed out a huge karmic cycle and I'm hearing that changes everything. But with um, light codes, again, there's more light in your energy field because you've made space for it. It's almost like source, God, the divine spirit can flow through you more effortlessly and draw forth people, circumstances and situations that can help you on your journey. They keep saying like magnet. Um, you may also go through this next cycle where you're incredibly lucky or compared to what you've been through, you're going to feel really lucky. You're going to feel as though just blessings are so drawn to you. Okay, what do we have? Star being healing codes. Important information, wounds are healed, recharging. Yeah, it's like you've done so much work in terms of healing yourself, 
that now it's like this light is tipping over into the physical. I feel like you have had a lot of um, spiritual support as well through this process. I'm also here in coming into your power because when I laid down this divine abundance card, I just had that thought, like we attract the abundance we feel we deserve. And for many of you, I feel like you've upgraded your sense of, yes, receptivity, but also self-value. Some of this healing could have been around self-perception, what you feel uh, entitled to, what would I say? Like really knowing that you deserve these manifestations, you deserve abundance, you deserve love. Like there, there's some up leveling in your self conception that's tipped over into the physical. But right now, if there's a quiet or a lull, spirit is saying it's to rebuild your energy because I feel like this group, you're coming into a time where everything floods in. Like all the manifestations you could have had like 10 years ago, it's like because you've reached this place of alignment, everything's coming toward you. You also have solar plexus. Yeah, above death, there was healing around the solar plexus. So self-empowerment, confidence. Um, I, I just heard self-mastery. The frequency of the solar plexus chakra, the yellow flower of life, supports our sense of self, our personal power, and our willpower, as well as our knowing of who we are and what our contribution is to the whole. For some of you, this healing cycle, you had to unravel yourself from other people's conception of you, especially with the empowerment here as well. So there could have been people in your life um, or in your formative years where, you know, they would tell you certain things about yourself or they would, you know, give you a certain idea about who you are or what you deserve. And I see you kind of clearing away that energy and you have dynamic above the devil, like coming into your power. For some of you, you may be ready to receive on a higher level. When I say dynamic, I think of leadership or boss energy, where you kind of are taking the reins. So that could be an aspect of what's coming in as well for some of you, whether that be promotion, starting your own ventures, project, business. The frequency of dynamic supports our ability to harmonize between layers and aspects of different origin and frequency. And helps us to put together a reality that is made up of many different elements, both familiar and completely new with ease, grace, and great joy. Yeah, so that's all I have for you. I hope this reading resonates and I hope you have a beautiful day. Hi, group two. So the phrase I kept hearing for this group is stability. That's what's really standing out to me. I feel it's like having a stable foundation, um, feeling... I'm hearing feeling less fear. For some of you, I'm hearing childhood healing as well. For those of you where you had a tumultuous childhood or had relationships in the past that were chaotic, whether this be romantic, platonic, I'm hearing it's like the, the foundation is steady now, feeling as though you're supported, feeling as though you can trust the people in your life, um, feeling as though life has your back with the four of coins and the four of cups. It's like a closing out of a cycle potentially of lack or disappointment and also feeling like you need to hold on. There's an element of releasing fear for this group, but I feel like this is happening. It's kind of like an organic process because we have root portal, vitality, stability, and survival, fearful, and then you have trust, overcoming doubts, insecurities, patience. So it's like coming into a place where you feel aligned, you feel safe, you're starting to trust the flow of life. You're starting to trust and allow this wheel to turn naturally and know that like what's meant for you will find you. And maybe even for some of you, I think you're understanding why the path and the past unfolded in the way it did. It's like there's a new level of clarity that you've reached or attained. And it's like it's helping you to let go of painful stories or narratives around the past, around people from the past, around yourself. I, I also feel the stability could be linked to greater finances or more stable finances with the nine of coins. For those of you with the tower above it, where you've had something around your foundation shook, whether that be like your home life, a job, a career, what's coming in is, or you had a period with this nine of coins where finances were slow it's like there's an opportunity or there's a business and enterprise and venture that helps to flood finances into your world. 
But with patience, I feel like this has been a slow process or there have been some um, challenges along the way. For some of you, this was a process of building whatever this venture is. So the blessing is venture or new career or opportunity around finances. And it's like because you've demonstrated this level of patience, things are starting to move now. You're going to see like the fruits of your labor. But with the Queen of Cups, there's some sort of emotional release and transformation within the emotional body that enables things to move ahead. And again, with the Queen of Cups and the Six of Cups, I feel for some of you, this is childhood based. It could be a, like a karmic connection or a connection from long ago is what I'm hearing. And that's being healed or cleared out. Yeah, it's like you're, you're feeling as though the wheel is turning in your favor. It's like you don't have to, for those of you where you felt like, um, you had to skimp on things or like really scurry and hold on to your finances because they weren't flowing. It's like that's what's changing because you're coming into this time above the four of pentacles is blessed. And it's not, we can be blessed in, in the material sense, but we don't always feel blessed. There's a level of gratitude for this and in this group because it's like you went from one extreme to the other like you went from things imploding and having a lack of stability around your foundation to things being really grounded or you went from finances not really moving to being very abundant and self-sufficient so there, there's some sort of duality or dichotomy between where you were versus, versus where you are now and it's like perhaps for some of you it's like they keep saying like piecing together the story it's, there's, there's been a fundamental change on a mental level of you really understanding like, oh, this is why it happened. I wasn't, you know, being punished or it wasn't that this business person enterprise was wrong for me. It's just that, you know, there were certain things I needed to heal or grow into or release. Mm, it's like your life story has taken a turn, done a 180. So for those of you where it has been a struggle, it's like you're coming into a cycle and the gifts, are, they're showing me like gifts start to trickle in. So this is, I feel like I'm not describing right now. I think I'm describing, say, the next six to 12 months where you're coming into a time where there's a lot of good fortune. There's a lot of blessings, but there's something that you've rewritten in your subconscious, in your life story, in your sense of self, your emotional body that's helping to bring in this change. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune signs. It's like now you're trusting the universe more as well. Instincts are the message from the inner divine. For some of you, the, the hit I just got was, you know, when we're, we have a vision and we're convinced like that's our purpose, that's our destiny, whether this is for a particular business, um, a project or a career path. But then on the surface, nothing's working out. So we start to consider like maybe maybe my intuition was wrong. Maybe this isn't my path. Maybe I should try something else. And it's like now you get the confirmation of no, like everything I sense for myself was spot on. Like I'm on the right path. I'm going to be blessed. Yeah. And you're more open because you've cleared out certain beliefs or stories within yourself. It's like, now you can receive, number one, clearer insights from spirit and the divine. For this group, your psychic ability and intuition is also increasing. But you're open to avenues of blessings that you weren't previously. For example, like spirit may be wanting to bring something toward us or to gift us something. But if we don't believe it's possible or we don't feel deserving and receptive, it can't come in. It can't reach us. So what's changing as well is your energy field is more open to receive. So we have, dear love, open me to your will. Release me from my attachments. Surprise and delight with delight me with your plan. You know what's needed and I am open to receive. And that's beautiful coming with the four of pentacles because again, we get that energy of attachment. But I feel for this group, that sense of attachment was because you did not feel safe. There was something that was being shook in your physical world and your surroundings. So it was causing you to hold on. So a new sense of trust, a new sense of peace and understanding that the divine is always working in your favor, even if it doesn't appear that way on the surface. It's like now, you know, oh, spirit had my back. For some of you, you may have been trying to make something work with this tower and it just kept blowing up or falling away. And now you look back and you're like, oh, thank God that didn't happen. Thank God that person left my life. Thank God that job wasn't offered to me. It's like a blessing in disguise. But it's like spirit is lifting the veil so you can see and understand why it happened that way. 
I also see this group, your self-talk is so much more gentle. It's like you're really loving and valuing yourself. When things go wrong, you're not beating up on yourself or like, oh, you, you know, you messed up or this was wrong or whatever the, nar the narrative was. It, there's a sense of being really gentle with yourself and understanding that you are doing the best. I keep seeing fours for this group and six. So when I think of six, I think of harmony, beauty, stability, like foundation, loving foundation. And when I think of four, again, I get that foundation energy. You have above the tower Akashic records. Some of it was karma as well. Like karma, not in a fear-based way, but it was designed for your growth. Some of what didn't work out or fell away or was may have felt like a negative at that time. It was you learning certain lessons and growing and expanding. And with Akashic Records, clearing old stories, releasing past lives, freedom. So for some of you as well, you were clearing karma from past lives and learning lessons perhaps you couldn't in other incarnations. And that's why it's come. But didn't I say before something about rewriting the story? I keep hearing that. For some of you, writing may be significant, whether this be journaling or writing something in particular. But I'm just getting it's like... um. They're showing me like the mind, the subconscious, like rewriting the programming. Mm. But it's like you've been freed from that karma. And that's why Spirit's saying you're safe. Above the Queen of Cups, we have Pleiadian activation, coming together, harmony in the heavens, resolution. Your greatest blessing is you're moving into a time of harmony where you can feel safe, where things are stable, your connections are stable, everything has a solid foundation. So if you felt like your life imploded or like was blown apart is what I'm hearing or a certain, a certain aspect of your life, whether this is a financial pursuit or a, it could be like a relationship, a home, it's like that was designed to bring you into alignment with this higher frequency yeah, and you have compassion about the nine of coins. Your abundance and your success is increasing because of your compassion for self. The more loving and gentle you can be with self, the more you open your heart to source to yourself, the more that is flowing through you and to you because of this unconditional love. The frequency of compassion supports our ability to stand by others without judgment. That's the shift as well. You've stopped judging yourself. It's like now, and maybe perhaps even others, because I feel you know, sometimes what we do to self, we're likely to do that externally. So you could have judged situations in the past, whereas now you come from a place of understanding, of compassion. Um, others without judgment and be the divine mediator between heaven and her, earth, spirit and matter. It's funny I said her because I keep getting like a home base. For some of you, you may have a new home and that's part of this stability or foundation is buying a home or having a new home or location, place to live that feels really nurturing for you. So that unconditional love can flow from source through our heart and into the world. You also have delight. The frequency of delight supports our capacity to create and experience feelings of intense joy and happiness. The more delight we feel, the more delight we evoke in others. So again, greater joy. I see you. It's like this harmony, this peace, this blessed feeling is just going to trickle into every aspect of your life where you feel blessed, you feel joyful. So that's all I have for you. I hope this reading resonates and I hope you have a beautiful day. Hi, group three. So for this group, I mean, the blessings just aren't going to stop. Like the... I feel like you're being blessed in every sense of the word. There's just what the first thing I was hearing when I was looking at this soulmate card and then the ice queen is there's a huge expansion and activation around the heart chakra. I see you coming into the heart space. I see that there's so much love around you that's going to be flowing to you. And I do feel for some of you, it's in the form of a union with two of cups and soulmate doesn't have to be romantic, but for many of you, I think it is. That's honestly what I'm getting. But it's like this union and connection brings in more blessings. It's like when you come together, if you haven't already, it's like all, it's like abundance is attracted to you with the Ace of Coins, the Ten of Pentacles. It could be joint resources. You could be connecting with someone that's quite abundant already. And that's why there's so much abundance flowing to you. But I feel like there's a potential to attract a lot of finances and abundance with this person, but I'm just getting like new energy all round. Um, for this group, it's just like, yeah, they're just saying you're going to be blessed in every way. Like so much stability, home, 
um, abundance, love, feeling, and also just feeling that love within yourself. For those of you where you felt the last cycle or the last chapter was very dry, um, where your energy may have felt depleted or, I don't know, stagnant, mundane, like there, there's a sense that everything's pouring in all of a sudden, but it has to do obviously with where you're at internally. So you may have done some work around healing your heart space, clearing certain energies. But I'm also hearing for this group, like it's time. I get divine timing here as well. There's something fated that at this point or juncture in your life, this connection was meant to come in. And again, for some of you, it could be like a business partnership or meeting like a soulmate where they're part of your soul family and you create a lot of abundance together. But for many of you, I really feel this is romantic. It's like you're not going to see it coming as well. The Page of Swords and Nine of Swords, I see that as potentially an offer or someone approaching you. They, they may not approach you. For those of you where you haven't met this person, they may approach you in a more like, I don't want to say a business way, but potentially or a more like analytical way. I'm not getting like a really emotional offering, but it's like they come in really quick. You don't see it coming and they, I don't know, they offer something or they, you know, express something to you, but it ushers in this brand new cycle. Yeah, I just feel like everything's coming in for you because above the 10 of coins, we have come to the edge. Your life is about to completely transform. There's just this sense that everything changes. You're blessed. You're going to be blessed in so many ways. Like you just won't have words for it, I feel. You are flexible above the two of cups. I feel like this person's energy as well. Like they are very flexible, very joyful. Um, they're able to see the lighter side of life. Like they're just like, um, they're showing me like someone that's just lit up. They bring a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, not only to you, but to people in general. Like they just have a very sunny disposition um, and they, they believe in, I don't want to say the impossible, but they have a very can-do attitude where they, you know, not much deters them. Mm, so Because there's something about this person expanding your horizons. If it's in the sense of a business pairing or a friendship, like a partnership, it's like they encourage you to try or do things you may not have considered previously or that would have frightened you in the past. So the blessing of this connection is that it helps you kind of step on a step out of your comfort zone. Um, it could be for some of you that, that you move uh, with this person or there's some sort of movement in terms of location or travel that's linked to this, but it it's, makes me feel like everything changes when this person comes in. Yeah, we have divine love. And as I said, with the Page of Swords, I feel like for many of you, this is a soulmate love connection, but I don't know if they're offering, that's their intention is divine love, but I don't know if they're verbalizing that in the beginning. When you offer everything to the divine with detachment, you begin a love affair with spirit. Mm. I feel like you've connected so closely with the divine and with your soul with source that it's being reflected in this connection. You also have sanctity. Through offering, even the most mundane problem can become a sacrament. For some of you, I feel like you may have been really stuck previously, like in the, how would I say, in the mundane or the status quo. Like there, there was almost an energy perhaps of stagnation or just feeling like you're going through the motions. And it's like now, and they just keep saying, I don't even know how to put in words like this energy because it's so big. And it's so do it's going to kind of baffle you, or there's elements of it you're just not going to see coming. Like where did this come from, or what's going on, or I don't know. Things may just shift really suddenly. I also notice here you have thirty six nine, nineteen ten, and thirty eight eleven, nine ten eleven. So again, this has been I feel growing. You've been moving towards this, but there were things you had to clear. With sort of light, divine protection, cords cut, breakthrough energy. Yeah, there's some sort of breakthrough in your consciousness. You may have had to cut certain people, situations, habits, thought patterns, beliefs out of your life first because they're affecting your vibration, your level of consciousness. So this could come in because sitting above the Ace of Cups, you have higher heart activation. This is exactly what I was saying here. I feel your heart is going to be overflowing. You have dropping shields, divine love, your heart is healed. 
Yeah, you were connecting with divine. This is double confirmation that this union is true love. And there's a sense that it is coming from the divine. It has a spiritual basis. It was divinely orchestrated. You can trust this connection. But the other message I'm getting is there was some healing with the ice queen. There was some introspection, some healing, some growth so that you could drop, you know, perhaps a cold or defensive exterior, a, a form of self-protection. It's like you had to clear that away. You had to harness, still maintain those um, lessons around boundaries but it's like you you dropped into this heart space, this higher level of divine love within yourself, and that's what's triggering this connection coming in. Above the seven of coins, we have throat chakra. I see you building a lot with this person. They could work in an area that involves communication, or there's something, there could be a venture that you do together that involves communication or writing or sharing certain things. The frequency of the throat chakra, the blue flower of life, supports our self-expression and our sense of peace and balance. I also see like in this connection, you're able to communicate very well with this person. You feel safe to communicate. And I feel this person is a great listener. Here we have consciousness. The frequency of consciousness supports our ability to focus our attention on all the multidimensional aspects that show up so that we can include them in our reality. Again, your consciousness had expanded to such a degree that you had space and room for these blessings to come in. It's like, again, like when you align, that's when things really start to flow and spirit saying like you did the work and all these blessings coming in is because of that alignment that you've created within yourself. So that's all I have for you. I hope this reading resonates and I hope you have a beautiful day. Hi, group four. What I'm hearing for this group, you may be feeling a little bit of a sense of delayed blessings because I feel like there's this period, it depends where you're at in this process. I feel like there's a period where you go through really intense healing, shedding, releasing activations within yourself energetically and spiritually before the blessings come in. It's like spirit... Your blessing and one of the hidden blessings is that spirit and the divine is working very closely with you to heal and to align to what you want in the future that's going to come in when this transformation is complete. However, when you're going through it, it may not feel that way. Like there may be a sense and some of you, you are uh, aligning to love and beautiful connection. Like there's a healing perhaps with the five of cups and ten of swords and eight of cups of past pain, needing to walk away from certain people, connections, relationships, whether this is platonic or romantic. But it's like when you come out of this, once you've healed, once your faith, your heart has been restored, that's when blessings really start to flood in. So again, like I feel like these hidden blessings may take a little bit longer, but I feel like spirit and the divine is letting you know, know now so that you have that sense of happiness, joy, hope. Now, the other, the blessing for this group is they're going to, it's like the angels want to surprise you. You're not going to see it coming is what I'm hearing. We have five, we have 41, five, and then we have five here as well. Five, five, five. So again, there are blessings on their way. And especially moving forward. It, again, if you're at a place where you feel like this transformation is complete, then I feel like those blessings are not far off. If you're still in the thick of it and you're still healing, this is what you have to look forward to. But with the hangman, it may feel as though there are delays in the physical, but it's like how everything comes together is so powerful and magical and perfect that it's like you understand why or you feel a sense of gratitude. Like, yes, like things happen the way they needed to, or I understand why things happen this way. Especially with that eight of coins and the magician here. So you have loyal heart. So again, I get that energy of you. It could be aligning to a solid connection, a partnership. But when I think of these hours as well, like there's a certain level of wisdom that you have to attain within yourself. We have celestial assistance, um, angelic messages, guidance, enlightenment. For this group, I do feel like your old souls. And you, another one of your blessings is being able to hear spirit very clearly or clearer than you have previously. It's almost like um, the angels are going to be whispering in your ear with observer over the magician. It's like you're going to be guided or prompted step by step toward what you're seeking, what you're desiring, 
you know, how to draw it forth, how to bring it toward you. And you have faith over five of cups, yeah. But there is this need as well to have faith. Like if things have fallen apart in the past or you're feeling um, you're in the thick of the healing process, it's like your angels and spirit want you to know, like you are going to come out of this, uh, you are going to move through these energies, but there's a need to hold on to your faith. Miraculously, amazingly, everything I need always comes. Love is opening me to receive beyond anything I imagine and allowing. Radical acceptance says yes to reality in any given moment. So what is needed can come next. Yeah, it's like right now there's a really strong message for this group of surrendering because you are coming into a time where you you are being moved towards your desires, your blessings. But again, there could be delays in the physical because there's a sense of synchronicity or the unexpected and spirit weaving it behind the scenes or they're delayed for you to completely heal. In transformation, we have metamorphosis, synchronicity, the unexpected. It comes in by surprise once this metamorphosis is complete. Once you've really alchemized and transformed your energy, I feel, again, for this group, I'm hearing you're very spiritual or you're very much old souls. So I feel like the path you're on or the lessons you learn may be a little bit, not harder, but requires more faith than some of the experiences another may go through. So above Eight of Cups, you have Toth Light Codes, Light Initiation, Great Teacher Awakening, Divine Magic. For some of you, the blessing as well is coming into your, I just heard majesty, but there's a sense of coming into your highest expression, your highest timeline, your highest, um, even wisdom and knowledge. Like it could be really being out there with your spiritual gifts or being a spiritual teacher, being willing to be seen. And I feel like because spirit, again, this group, you're really ethereal. Uh, your energy is very divine. It's not, it's not as focused on like the mundane or the practical. So I feel that could be affecting your path and the timing of physical blessings as well, because there's something that you, you are bringing forth or you come into within your own being in terms of your spiritual path, your life purpose before, for example, having connection or before receiving certain blessings. Because I feel like this shift spiritually may be what brings in these blessings. So I also feel for this group, you definitely start star seeds or earth angels, that very angelic energy. So Arcturian light codes, evolutionary downloads, recalling power, future thinking. Yeah. One of your blessings is clairvoyance of all the clairs essentially, but just being able to really, um, receive divine downloads to hear your angels in his spirit really clearly and to know what to do next at every moment. We have cosmic flower. The frequency of cosmic flower activates our remembrance of the place we call home, the core from which we pour our magnificence out into the world. It's like you're blooming and blossoming, but Spirit is saying within your own timelines. That's what this transformation is doing within you and within your energy field. And when this flower blooms, everything comes in. It's like you're drawing it forth. You also have earth with the hangman. So grounding yourself in patience is important as well while these blessings are coming in to find you. I, I don't know if for some of you, you feel impatient or you're wondering, oh, it's taken a while, like maybe it won't come in and spirit is validating. No, it will, but there is a timing factor, divine timing. The frequency of earth activates our deep connection to this physical plane by showing us the beauty of all the aspects of our great mother and revealing the more ethereal spiritual aspects of our nature. Again, this group, you're so ethereal, you're so divine, you are protected and blessed, but there is a need, yes, for patience and to have faith that what you sense for yourself and the work you've done in the past is going to pay off. There's very strong messages of not becoming discouraged or not allowing, you know, what appears to not be happening in the physical to diminish your faith. Because again, I feel for this group, you have a really big purpose, many of you, and perhaps you are like divine healers, artists, like you're here to create something and channel something for the collective. But in order to do that, 
your consciousness and vibration has to be at a certain level. So I do feel for this group, you had a steeper path or perhaps a longer journey to get there. And that could have or may be affecting, you know, physical world blessings. Because I feel when you step into this energy of spiritual mastery or teacher or, you know, where you're just really living these higher vibrations, that's when everything comes in for you. So it's spirit and the divine don't want you to give up. You're doing a great job and hold the faith because these things are coming in for you. So that's all I have for you. I hope this reading resonates and I hope you have a beautiful day.